Here's how to spot genetically modified food at the grocery store. Starting in 2022, food manufacturers have been required to disclose when they use an ingredient from a genetically modified crop. And companies have to identify this with one of the following four disclosures. The text disclosure that's the most common reads contains a bioengineered food ingredient. The symbol disclosure is the one you see here on the screen. The electronic disclosure must include a statement such as scan here for more food information and then link to a page with the disclosure. The text message disclosure must include the statement text command word to number for bioengineered food information. While large food manufacturers must comply, foods sold or made in restaurants, food trucks, trains, airplanes, delis, and other food establishments are not required to make the disclosure. And while there isn't a requirement, food companies have the option to voluntarily disclose if they use refined ingredients that come from genetically modified crops under the 5% detectability threshold. This disclosure would be labeled as derived from bioengineering or ingredients derived from a bioengineered source on the food label. Companies also don't have to disclose if they deem that none of the genetically modified crop is in the final ingredient. An example of this is sugar coming from genetically modified sugar beets. This is a full list of all the crops that can be genetically modified for you to screenshot. As of 2020, around 94% of soybeans, 92% of corn, 96% of cotton, and 95% of canola are GMO. Crops are usually genetically modified to make them more resistant to herbicides, control weeds, and protect them from pests. The four agrochemical giants that control crop bioengineering in turn control the majority of seed supply and pesticide production. Agrochemical companies have tricked generations of Americans into believing that GMOs are sustainable and feed world populations by funding universities and suppressing independent, peer-reviewed research. What GMOs have really done is shift power in our food supply away from millions of small local farms into a centralized system that a small number of agrochemical companies control. Farmers are forced to rebuy and row crop patented seeds along with the synthetic pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. If you want a summarized write-up of this, you can find it under the blog on my website at myhealthforward.com or by going to the link in my bio. And as always, if you want to find local farms near you or start growing your own food, you can check out my free farm map and my heirloom seeds on my website.